I just wanted to get on for a few minutes and give you my heart. Um, it's a very humbling thing to get on for a few minutes. It's a very humbling thing. Uh, first of all, tag somebody in the comments, share, like this uh, this this stream. It's a very humbling thing to see a vision that God gives you come to life. Um, to see people of God back the vision, to see people, um, I'm not going to say buy into the vision, but to see people um, invest in themselves, uh, see people grab hold to a vision, see people come on one accord to see something that God um, gives a person and it allows it to come to life. Um, 10 years ago, God gave me this vision. I didn't necessarily know, um, under, fully understand what beauty for ashes meant at that time. But I thank God that um, the vision um, lied dormant into my, in, the vision, the vision uh, lied dormant in, in, in me until it, to the appointed time, which is October the 14th, 2023. Um, Listen, you all, we could be literally doing anything else in October. We know that the um, we know that football season is in, that people are um, gathering amongst different things and different reasons. But um, on October 14th, even though there are activities going on in the state of Mississippi, even in our surrounding areas, there is a remnant. There is a people that God is gathering for such a time as this. Um, I remember when God first gave me the thought of a beauty for ashes um, um, conference, uh, a conference that God wanted me to put my my hands to. And um, if I'm honest, you know, transparency is my thing. If I'm honest, I really didn't feel like God would allow me to put my hands to work in that in that aspect. And so as we continued and as the vision has laid, even when it came to putting on the the gathering that's happening October the 15th, you guys, when I first put it, let, let the Holy Spirit bring it back to my remembrance, I said that it was a, a, a brunch. I said, I'm going to get these women together for a brunch. Um, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to break bread together. And, and during this brunch, um, I'm going to I'm going to ask two people who've been instrumental in my life, literally um, 
Minister Frances Archer is uh, um, is a phenomenal woman of God, a jewel that we have right here in the, the great city of Vicksburg, who is um, who who loves the father and loves his children, and then Dr. Candy, who um, I met ironically a couple months ago um and even in my meeting her god has strategically brought her in my life for such a time as this and so my thought process when i first looked at um even considering put my hands to work i said god i'm gonna do this brunch and for this brunch we're gonna you know we're gonna we're gonna have a brunch and as i said and meditated on what god was showing me i called um I called Minister Francis and I said, this is not a brunch. She said, I was waiting on you. <laughs> she was, I was waiting on you to say it. Y'all, it wasn't, it wasn't what God said that the, the brunch, it being a brunch is not what God showed me. God showed me a gathering of women of God, people who have the ashes in their life. The Bible says that he'll give us a crown of beauty for our ashes. And so, so many times in my life, I didn't realize that God gave me a crown of beauty for those ashes. Those ashes were strategic in, in my process of God growing me and um, God growing me and, and using me. And I, I, I just didn't look at it like that. I didn't look at the failures. I didn't look at um, my mistakes. I didn't look at those things as something that God could use. Um, but he doesn't, he doesn't um, call the equip. He equips the call. Uh, he, he, he equips the ones he calls. So um, on October the 14th, on October the 14th, I'm giving birth to a baby. Um, that God is giving me, um, he, God has given me the task and the duty to bring women of God together, to bring women of God together, to empower them and impart in them um, in different ways. We have phenomenal women from our community um, who are going to come and talk to, to talk to the women in, in natural ways, pour into them in natural ways. How do you lead in into the, how do you how do you how are you a leading lady in today's society um, and not with the stipulation of what others say but how do you lead as a leading lady but a kingdom lady how do you have the business mind what did God say about business and how do you have a business mind and operate in the in, in business in this uh, in this world because as women of God we're in this world but not of this world we have someone top coming to talk to us about how we overcome the pitfalls of life. How do you not get not get stuck in, in, in the mess that you're in? How can you not get stuck in your circumstances and situations? Because we have to stand on what the truth is. And the truth is the word of God. And so we also have um, someone coming in to to talk about health and fitness what 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 that looks like as far as the word is concerned what that looks like as far as the kingdom is the kingdom is concerned what do what do we as women need to look for what 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 are some of the signs that that, that happen in our body that may we may need to be paying attention to or looking for listen i am set so excited I, I, I can't hardly contain myself. It's almost such like a surreal thing for you to see your vision come to life. And then for people, people who to buy into the vision, to, um, to support the vision, you all, I literally, um, there has been three tickets sponsored by, by, by women who said, Brittany, I, I believe in what the work that you're doing. And I want to attribute buying a ticket so that somebody who can't afford it or somebody who doesn't have it, um, they have an option of being in the room. Listen, you can be in the room and get exactly what you need. I'm telling you. So I'm so excited. I, I, there is one more ticket, sponsor ticket, uh, and it could be more. There is one sponsor ticket I do have just in case somebody wants to, um, to come inbox me. And so I just wanted to get on and give you my heart for a few moments. Um, the ticket sales will end on the 11th. We are having a brunch, um, that's, that's being catered and I have to have the right number of people in order to give the caterer. So I am going to have to cut off ticket sales and we're not going to be able to take any more. I prayed about um, streaming the, the, the service, but God said it's going to be an intimate gathering. 
the Bible says with two or three are touch and agree that he'll be a God in the midst of them also. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I know not only for you, but I know that there's a word in the mouth of Minister Francis Archer and there's a word in the mouth of Dr. Candy Baylor for such a time as this for our lives. And so I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm great. I'm grateful and I'm thankful that God is, has put this work in my hand and I'm grateful for everybody who has supported it, who has shared a broadcast, who has shared a, a flyer. We have awesome vendors line up. Those who, um, who have, are bringing their product to sell. Listen, you guys, I am so excited and I'm, it's, it's, it's surreal. I'm, I'm humble that God would even choose me to bring forth this vision. And so this is my personal invitation to you. Those of you who are watching, those of you who will watch this live later, those of you who have, um, th thank you for those of you who are, have even shared this broadcast. This is my personal invitation to you that if you're not doing nothing on next Saturday, October the 14th, doors will open at 830. The first service will begin. Um, I, I suggest you be in the room doing prayer. We'll start prayer about 915. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I, I know what I asked God for. I asked God for us to see his tangible presence in the earth. I know that God is going to release us from things. I know that there's deliverance that's going to take place. I know that there's divine healing going to take place. I know what's going to be in the room. And the only way you're going to get what's in the room is you'll be in the room. So this is my personal invitation to you. This is the clarion call. Get there. 2321 Washington Street. October the 14th. God is going to meet us there. I have literally been praying every morning for 30 days over this conference that the portals of hope heaven are open over 2321 Washington Street, that the fire that is there is set ablaze so that God can co uh, consume us and burn things off of us that don't need to be there, but he'll purify us even the more. And I'm so excited and so ready to be amongst my sisters. Because the Bible teaches us that one that we are joint heirs with Christ. So you are my sisters in Christ. And I'm so excited to be able to worship with you. I'm so excited to be able to pray with you. I'm so excited to impart and empower into you, but also be there to be with you and stand with you as we do it together. I am so excited. I'm so, I'm so excited. I just I can't, I, I'm telling you, if, if you only knew. So Again, I just pray and hope that you hear this message. This is your clarion call. If there are things in your life, if you need to be uh, empowered, if you're ready to go to your next level, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you got to get in the room. It's time for you to be in the room. You got to get in the room. Listen to me. If you get in the room, October the 14th, 2023, at the Vicksburg Business and Event Center, yeah, Jackson State's heaven is 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 homecoming, but I'm telling you what's gonna be in the room. The the power and the presence of God Himself is gonna be in that room. Listen, we have a, a, a apostle flying in from um from Europe. Listen, y'all, it's in the room, it's gonna be in the room. So, my question to you is: have you secured your spot? Are you gonna make your divine appointment? I love you guys with the love of God. Get used to seeing me here. God has called me in this season to do more things. And so I'll be bringing more people on to bless you. I'll be on here too, giving words of encouragement and giving words of empowerment to, to all who have an ear to hear what the, what, what, what the spirit of God is saying. And so I just want you to know that I love you. I'm praying with you. I'm praying for you. And on October the 14th, we are... We are, we're going to be together. We're gathering for the empowerment in, in our beauty for ashes. I love you um, and take care.